Let's make a tent card. Now a tent card is going to be this thing that maybe you set on a table, maybe it's for no smoking, or maybe you're just uh, numbering your tables at a wedding. A lot of reasons. But essentially it's going to be a piece of paper that you stack that on both sides there's a label. However, when it's printed out, one side is going to look upside down up until you fold it. So part of this process is going to involve rotating the text so that it's upside down on the paper, but when you fold it, it looks proper. So let's get started with a new Word document. So the first thing we'll do is change the page layout. So let's click on the page layout tab, and then the margins, let's click that drop down box, and instead of the normal one inch margins, let's go with the narrow half inch margins and click that. And we'll also want to make sure that our orientation is set to portrait, not landscape. So if we're happy there, next let's go ahead and click on insert. And then we'll click on a text box. And let's pick the simple text box. Great, it gives us a standard one. Let's type in table one. Great. Now let's change the size of this by clicking on the border of the box. And then under this format tab, we'll click on the size drop down arrow. And for height, let's make that 3.75 inches because we're accounting for an eight and a half by 11 inch piece of paper standard. So you'll have to adjust your size if you're going with a different size of paper. And then we'll hit enter. Now it's gonna make it nice and tall, but we're gonna to wanna to make this wide. So to help us figure this out, let's click on view and click on the grid lines. Now we'll see all the printable area of our paper. And this will help us keep it together once we start incorporating the second bottom half of the sheet. So let's make this a little bit wider and keep going until we're happy. So maybe, maybe that's fine. And let's drag this down so that maybe there's a little space here at the top. So maybe, maybe we give it four boxes here. We can count them, one, two, three, four. And next, let's make this text bigger. So we'll click on the Home tab. And let's see what 72 looks like. Maybe that's not quite big enough. So let's go with 200. Maybe that's a little too big. So let's try 150, press Enter. That looks okay. So now let's center it. Click on the center paragraph button. Great. And now let's click on the border of this box. You can see the cross arrows there. And we'll press Control C to copy. And then press Control V to paste. Now let's bring it down here. And we'll see if we can line it up roughly in the same space that this one is. So let's see. We only have three boxes there. Let's go up one more. Now we have four boxes here, and maybe three boxes on the side, so let's just move it over just a hair. Okay, now it's lined up pretty closely. So maybe now, let's click on this box again, and the green handle, we're gonna click on that until it rotates, and then drag until we're fully rotated around. And now both sides are pointing towards the center, so that if we were to turn this whole page around, it would still look the exact same. And now when we print it and fold it in half, both sides will be legible, no matter which side of the page you're on. Great. And now just for safety, let's click view and uncheck the grid lines. Great, now we're ready to print it out. Now you can try this on your regular thin eight and a half by 11 paper, or go ahead and put in some heavier cardstock. That way it's a little bit more sturdy. And from here, we'll click on File, Print, and then click Print one more time, and you're good to go.